Hello, in this lecture we are going to be updating the domain name for our website. In the last lecture we registered for a domain name in Route 53 and currently our website is accessible through our application load balancer's DNS name. So for example if I go to EC2 on that compute and I select application load balancer and copy my application load balancer DNS name and paste it in here. This is how we are accessing our site. Now we are going to update this domain name to our domain name we created in the last lecture. To do that, we are going to select services, then scroll down. Under networking and content delivery, select Route 53. We are going to click on our hosted zone and click on the domain name. Click create record. It is going to be simple routing. Click next. Define simple record. In here we are going to type www. For the value route traffic to, we are going to click that drop down and select our alias as application load balancer alias to application and classic load balancer. We are going to select the region. Mice is in the Northern Virginia region, US East 1. And we are going to choose our load balancer. It is going to be an A record. And I'm going to uncheck this for now. And define simple record. And once you have that, click create record. It has now created that record for us. If we copy this domain name and paste it in here, we should be able to access our site from there. And there you go. We can now access our site from our domain name. And the next thing we need to do is we can do the same thing we did in the last lecture. We can do forward slash WP admin. We are going to log in. And let me get that URL again. So I'm going to copy this. So under my settings, I come to settings, general. And we want to update this information to our new domain name. Scroll all the way down and click save changes. It's going to log you out. You can log back in. And this is how you change your domain name from the DNS of your application load balancer to the domain name you registered in Route 53. In the next lecture, we are going to look at how we can secure this site by registering for an SSL certificate from the AWS Certificate Manager. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.